Welcome to this video tutorial. Here I'll be discussing the three types of rainfall. In my previous video, I covered the rain formation process. Here, the three types of rainfall are the relief rainfall, which is also known as orographic. We have convectional rainfall. And lastly, we have the frontal rainfall, which is known as cyclonic rainfall. And the reason for that is as a result of its association with the cyclones. Let's dive into the relief rainfall. This type of rainfall will be formed in areas where warm moist air will move or will rise over a mountain. A mountain here is the relief feature. As the air rises, because of the uh, declining temperature, because of the higher you go, the cooler it is becoming, then the air will be cold and eventually this cooling as it takes place to lead into the formation of clouds through the process of condensation. So as condensation takes place, then we have clouds and from these clouds later on they give us precipitation in form of rainfall and this is how the relief rainfall is formed actually now the dry air will move on to the other side as dry air let's say in form of a diagram or a demonstration of how this takes place assuming that this is the mountain then we have the side from which warm moist air is blowing from in most cases it is usually from an area which is moist from an ocean from a lake an area with a water body then the moment it reaches the mountain it will start rising then cooling takes place then condensation which will definitely lead formation of clouds these clouds will give precipitation in form of rain on this side of the mountain then on the other side dry air will descend collecting all the moisture available will lead to arid conditions the side from which the air is blowing from is known as the windward side and the side of the mountain towards which the wind is blowing to it's called the leeward side and it is usually arid because dry air which has lost its moisture will collect all the moisture there great let's look into convectional rainfall from the word convection this takes place when warm moist air rises in form of convectional currents so where does this take place and why does it take place the heat from the sun will usually heat the air above the ground when the air is heated it becomes less dense and then it starts to rise this type of rainfall will happen especially where we are forested areas and also near water bodies this is the reason i mean the reason for this is to provide moisture uh, into the rising air so the heated air will rise it will cool it will condense and definitely condensation will lead to formation of clouds which will give us this rain it's important to follow the writing which i'm providing for you to get to know the exact uh, procedure which takes place so precipitation will usually occur in form of rain then falling onto the ground i insist again that this happens mostly in very forested areas where they provide moisture to the atmosphere and also in areas with large water bodies in this demonstration here we have the sun we have solar insulation that is the heat from the sun it is heating the ground then the ground the water is evaporating transpiration taking place from the forest then that air which is warmed up and then it is starting to rise it is now enriched with that moisture so as the air rises 
we shall have it uh going some cooling then we have condensation we have clouds and eventually you definitely we have rainfall this is very easy type of rainfall and actually it happens for a very short period of time and mostly it rains in the afternoon mostly near water bodies and around the equatorial region then lastly we have frontal rainfall which is also known as cyclonic rainfall it's called cyclonic because it is associated with the formation or development of the cyclones which are depressions formed where we have low pressure so warm moist air will usually meet with cold air these are two air masses are these two air masses because they are of different densities we shall see what happens so the point where they meet is known as a front and that's where we have the name frontal rainfall it is on these fronts where cyclones develop and that's where we have the name cyclonic rainfall so when we have warm moist air meeting uh, a mass of cold air the warm air will rise over the cold air the reason being that it is less dense so the less dense air which is the warm moist air will rise over the denser cold air uh, definitely as the air rises that is the warm moist air to undergo the process of cooling we have condensation will take place then we shall have of course formation of clouds and then this will lead to precipitation which will reach onto the ground in form of rainfall that's how we have the convectional or the frontal rainfall let's see a simple demonstration of how it occurs here we have warm moist air from one side then from the other side we have a mass of cold or cold air so when they meet the point at which they are meeting that's what we refer to as a front so definitely warm moist air is less dense to rise over the cold air then the warm moist air will undergo the process of cooling we have condensation then from condensation we have clouds which lead to development of rainfall which is cyclonic rainfall we are calling it cyclonic because it occurs where we have the cyclones this is an example of a cyclone which is being formed so these are the three types of rainfall which we have covered for this video thank you for watching